The question says sketch below is the graph of gx equals minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 12x plus 20 and very conveniently they have factorized that awkward equation which many learners find difficulty in doing. So they've been quite kind in this exam to give you those factors and I would also want you just to note that with a cubic graph where we normally have three brackets, the second bracket is being repeated, which means the second bracket is being repeated, which means that you are now working with a bracket that gives me equal factors and therefore equal x values. And we will say a little bit more on that as we discuss the questions. I say that we want to refer to question 9.1, where you are asked to determine the length of AB. Now, let's quickly refer to points A and B. As you can see, point A and B are points referring to the x-intercept, and hence, <coughs> one has to immediately think, if you work with the x-intercept, that you are making the y-value in that equation equal to zero. In doing that, you're going to find that you have minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 12x plus 20, but which was nicely factorized as this. And that is now equal to zero. So based on your grade 10 quadratic equation work, where if you had two brackets equal to zero, you would immediately say that the one bracket is equal to zero, or the other one is equal to zero, and hence the x values are as indicated. What I would like to point out here is that this value is, as mentioned at the start, being repeated. And this brings me to a very important principle. Once the x value, which is your x-intercept, happens twice, you are going to find that that x-intercept is going to coincide or overlap with one of the turning points. <coughs> so just to get back, to what we've been saying, right? We needed to get the length of AB. So AB, as you can see, <coughs> are the two intercepts that we have just found. And we said the one is at negative 2, and the other one is at 5 over 2, right? So it's obvious that the negative one will be to the left, and the positive to the right, so hence the gap between the two. If I go and work out the length AB, it is now going to be from negative 2 to positive 2.5, which would give me 4.5 or 4,5 units. So that wasn't too difficult. 